Hello, I'm Councillor Jim O'Ball. I'm here at Coventry Airport because last week uh, it was granted planning permission from both Warwick District Council and Coventry City Council to build the biggest gigafactory in Europe on this particular site. I'm here with Louise Bennett, the Chief Executive of Coventry Warwickshire Chamber of Commerce. Louise, what does this mean both for the economy of Coventry Warwickshire but also what do you want to see from investment to make this dream a reality? Well, it just makes business sense, Jim, doesn't it, to have the Gigafactory here, the creation of over 6,000 highly skilled jobs, high value jobs in the area. Do you know it will protect over 100,000 jobs that are already sitting within our automotive manufacturing and engineering supply chain that we have in this locality? And looking at it from a business perspective, the synergies are there. So we have all of the assets in this area, Manufacturing Technology Centre, Warwick Manufacturing Group, Ariba Myra in our north, the supply chain itself, the universities, Coventry, Warwick. We have all of the assets here that make absolute sense to sit alongside the Gigafactory so that we can be leading edge in electrification and new battery technology. It just makes business sense. And skills are really important in terms of making this a reality as well of course because we need to invest in skills both in our schools and colleges but also in businesses. We do need to invest in skills and the better the investment in high value skills the more wealth that you create in an economy and the more wealth you create the more we pay our taxes and the more we can support all of our public services so it makes absolute sense and of course here in this locality we're already outcropping engineers from the university-led technical college over at Warwick University we have two fantastic colleges in the area um, we've got our universities so I think we can really really do the job in terms of having the investment in the gigafactory here so the right location We've got the right skills, the right companies, the right businesses. What we need now is the government and the industry to come together to make this decision, to make this happen. It's all ready. Let's make this happen. 6,000 direct jobs, maybe three times that indirect. Let's bring back direct manufacturing back to Coventry and Warwickshire.